Hey guys, in today's video, I've done a bit of a sneaker haul. I'm gonna be showing you my latest purchases and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got recently. I will also include a snippet of the vlog when I bought one of these purchases. So, we just got to the mall. <laughs> I actually put a pair of lubes on hold yesterday because I really needed a new pair, so we're gonna get me a new pair. So the other day on my Instagram, I was like asking you guys to send in questions, and someone asked me about how many pairs of lubes I had. And even though I walk past my shelf every day, hi, too Good many lubes. Even though I walk past my shelf every day, I forget how much I really appreciate them. And I realized like, I used to just save up for so long to buy them. And now I'm living my best life. I can buy them whenever I want. <laughs> So I'm gonna buy another pair today. I'm not gonna show you guys what I got just yet. I will show you in an unboxing video because I did buy another pair of Gucci trainers and I got a pair of Yeezys. It's a month stuff, but I'm excited. These are cute too. I wanted these for the longest time, but they just didn't look cute on my foot. I want these. Oh, they're like ombre as well. They are pretty. My mom's not really into this shit. Like she thinks I spend like a ridiculous amount of money on silly things. Yeah, I was gonna get these, mum, but like, I can't wear these daily. Guys, secured the bag. <laughs> Unboxing video coming soon. Um, I haven't done one in so long. I honestly haven't treated myself in a very long time. So as you saw in the video, I purchased a pair of lubes. I haven't purchased a pair of lubes in a very long time. I was reminded of how happy they made me feel when someone asked me recently on Instagram how many lubes they actually owe, to which I responded, not enough, because you can never have enough lubes. They're such a great pair of shoes, they're so iconic, and I genuinely love them. They hold a special place in my heart, personally, because they were the first pair of designer shoes that I saved up for for so long to get my hands on when I was about 15. And ever since then, I've just been saving and purchasing, but now I'm at a point in my life where I can literally buy lubes whenever I want, and it makes me so happy. But I also realize I don't appreciate them as much. <laughs> so in the box, as these are sneakers, these are the Vieira sneakers. I believe they're called in color latte they actually come with white dust bags only the men's shoes and the sneakers come with white dust bags these are not fake dust bags and just to ensure that you guys don't think I'm buying fakes I've got the receipt which I will also show you for the price so these are the Vieira white latte sneakers and initially I wanted to get my hands on the Louis sneakers, but they didn't have them available in plain white. I am obsessed with them. As you can see, they've got a red rubber sole, so if you're worried about the red rubbing off on a pair of new lubes, it won't happen with these, which is amazing for people that like to have the iconic red sole on display. I personally just bought these because I wanted a pair of plain white trainers, and these are a pair of designer plain white trainers that I found to be the most comfortable. I didn't buy them for the sole or the sole purpose that they're Louboutins. I literally just bought them because they were comfortable and they were plain white. I did have a look at Louis Vuitton initially. I prefer how they fit and I feel like the comfort of those is like insane, but they only had some with like Louis Vuitton details all over and I wasn't too sure if I wanted those. I really just wanted a pair of plain white sneakers and these were the ones that came to me. They are super comfortable on, as you can see, they look great. In comparison to the Louis, they have an almond toe, whereas the Louis has a more rounded toe. They do come with extra white laces. I believe they also do come in black as well. So if you're looking for a pair of comfortable, plain white sneakers and you've got a budget to spend on sneakers, then go for these. So the sneakers from Christian Louboutin were about 622 US dollars. In dirhams, that is 2,250 inclusive of VAT. I never used to keep my boxes and my receipts and dust bags. I thought it was just extra space and clutter. But now I do actually prefer storing my shoes in their boxes where I can see the labels, I can see what's in them as well as the receipts because if I ever decide that I want to resell them or I'm over the shoe and I just want to get rid of them 
having a receipt as proof of purchase and authenticity is so important so my next purchase is a pair of gucci's now i kind of stopped buying gucci shoes because i used to purchase the wrong sizes until i found out what my actual size was i had to sell all my old shoes and actually repurchase them so i currently only have two pairs which fit me the rest i need to get rid of anything i no longer wear or don't like anymore i will put on my depop which is down below for those that want to shop my wardrobe you can do so. fell in love with these when i first saw them and i'm so glad i finally managed to find my size so the sneakers come with two dust bags here we are they smell a little odd initially, but the smell goes away. And I purchased these in size 35. Initially, I thought it was a 36 and a half, but turns out I'm actually only a 35 in Gucci and Christian Louboutin sneakers. I love the crystal effect that it has on the side. I think they're super dope. And they are a great, and they're a great piece to spice up a very boring plain outfit. As you guys know, I love boring plain outfits. I am someone that loves comfort, which was not me back in the day when I was initially purchasing designer shoes. I would buy lots and lots of high heels. I love heels. Well, initially I did because I was young and I was attending events and I was also trying to sneak into clubs. I was underage. So I had to wear heels. Now, if I go clubbing, if I go out anywhere, I'm most likely seen in flats or sneakers. These are super comfortable. I just love them. I bought two white sneakers in like the span of a week, but they were both necessary. They're both really different to me. The fit of Gucci sneakers is a little strange. So if you haven't ever purchased a pair of Gucci sneakers before, I definitely recommend trying them on beforehand. They are not as comfortable as the Louis Vuittons or the Christian Louboutins, but they do look amazing on. I genuinely really love them and I will definitely be repurchasing more Ace sneakers in the future. I know this is an old design, but I'm really not too keen on the new designs. So that's why I purchased these. It's really been bugging me that I've not been able to wear my new purchases. But saying that, I did recently wear this third pair of sneakers. In fact, I wore them the day I got them. These are my new Adidas Yeezy... What are they called? Boosts? 350 Boosts? 360? I don't know what they're called. Um... <laughs> So these were a gift for my boyfriend. I've never owned a pair of Yeezys and I really wanted a pair, but I never actually told him I really want a pair. Go get me a pair. He just like showed up one day and had a pair of Yeezys and I was like, <gasps> I was actually really mad at him. I was like, why did you get me this? <laughs> I get really awkward when people buy me stuff. So I'm so excited to finally have a pair. I've always wanted a pair, but whenever I checked online, they were literally going for like over a thousand dollars. And I just wasn't prepared to pay that much for a pair of Adidas shoes. But he managed to find me my size, which is really, really hard to find online. Well, so I found. And I have a UK three and a half. They do fit slightly tight. I am a standard three and a half. But they're honestly so comfortable. You can take out the insole, which is quite cool if you do find them too tight. But I think it depends on which socks I wear. I think I tried them on really thick socks on, so they weren't super comfortable. But this is the most comfortable pair of sneakers I've ever tried on in my entire life and i am living for this new color we also have matching pairs of shoes um initially i thought that would be really cringe like matching with my boyfriend but it's cute it's actually really cute that basically summarizes my little haul i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to shop any of the products you can check out the links in the description box down below let me know what you think let me know what your favorite pairs were and if you enjoy this video you want to see more like this don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching